Okay, so we're going to attach our first flush device here to our downspout. And so we want to start by taking out a section of that old downspout. And our rain barrel is set pretty high, so we're going all the way up to the elbow in this case. That is correct, but on your house, if your gutter is a little bit higher um, relative to the level that you're putting your rain barrel, you may have to take a hacksaw and you can cut your um, old gutter. Okay, and so we're going to slide our adapter right into the bottom, and we're going to use just the, the same strips that we're connecting our um, gutter to the wall. We'll drill right into those and attach. Yep, so we're just reusing our, reusing our connectors to attach this to our building. There's also a connector down lower that we'll reuse as well. We'll probably need to put another screw up here okay. to, to attach the whole thing. Okay. Additionally, um, you probably noticed we didn't glue any of these this tubing together yet. reason for that is we wanted to make sure we had the right angle on all of our outlets mm -hmm. when we stuck it on here. So now we can kind of see we have the correct angle, so we'll have to go uh, we'll have to take all this apart and, and glue everything before it's a finished product. Okay. Okay, well we're ready to set our rain barrel in place. And of course we want to keep the spigot available so that we can access the water. And now we got to connect all the rest of the components that we've uh, prepared starting with our water intake. So that's gonna fit into our bottom, um, into, the, into the barrel, and attach into our bottom T-connector. We'll have to turn the barrel a little bit until we get this at quite the right angle. Okay. And the next- And we'll come back and glue that. Right, when we, when we get everything set, we'll come back and glue that in so it's good and secure. Yep. Uh, we also have our overflow that we're gonna connect. And if you look at the other end, we have a, um, a hose attached. And what that's going to do is we're going to run off our excess water with that. Yep, because you don't want your water to drain right into your foundation. Okay, well, that's good and secure. And you have one last hose you need me to attach over here. Um, remember, our first flush has a small hole drained at the bottom. And this is where water is going to drain out of that and I'm just inserting a small tube into that hole and I'll run this tube out uh, to the side into our plants and all the any extra water will wash away into those plants. Well, we're ready now to collect water in our rain barrel. Thank you so much, Jason, for helping me install this today. Thanks for having me. demonstration is part of a grant from Coca-Cola through the National 4-H Council and Jeff Salee, Extension Specialist in 4-H, has been working on a variety of related water conservation projects over the past year. Thank you so much for involving us with this grant and giving us the opportunity to educate people on water conservation. Well it's been great to have you involved. What the Oklahoma 4-H program has been doing through this grant is trying to establish water conservation demonstration sites across the state. Mm -hmm. And we've been able to work with county educators and master gardeners and we've been doing things as simple as installing rain barrels and holding field days mm -hmm. and uh, teaching the public how much water they can conserve through something as simple as a rain barrel. And then we've had much larger projects that we've collected water off the roofs of larger buildings and uh, collect that in a system and then maybe water a whole community garden with it. That's a wonderful project and through part of this you've been of course uh, educating the youth as part of 4-H. Yes we've been going into the schools and we have a curriculum we call 4-H2O and it's all about water conservation teaches kids about the water cycle and teaches them how they can save water at home just by changing some of their simple practices mm -hmm. and as part of that we've been challenging the kids and their parents to take what we call the 40 gallon challenge and by reducing water that they use some inside some out in the yard just throughout the day being aware of the water that they use so they can conserve it if they can save 40 gallons a day it really begins begins to add up because you take that 40 gallons mm -hmm. per person throughout a family, do that across the community, add that up for months and it turns into millions of gallons of water that we've been able to save. Absolutely and it's wonderful to show that a community can have such a big impact on water conservation. Now 
How can people learn more about H the H2O program and the 40 Gallon Challenge if they want to take it themselves? They can go to the Oklahoma 4-H website, mm -hmm. and that is oklahoma4h.okstate.edu slash 4H2O. And on that website, we have all of our lessons and all of our curriculum. And at the very top of it, we have the 40 Gallon Challenge for anybody to just print off and take. Excellent. Well, thank you so much again for involving us in this project and telling us about uh, what you've been working on. Well, thank you. <laughs>